South Africa, we know that the ANC is looking at different uh, possibilities in terms of how industry could contribute more to the coffers. Carbon tax is being mooted, which I must say the mining industry and certainly the gold industry in South Africa can ill afford. And we've certainly made submissions to that effect. But who knows, it may well be a reality in time. Ghana have increased royalties to 5%. Well, certainly that's what we're paying. Uh, but there isn't a level playing field in Ghana, which is a problem. And uh, they have also announced certain proposals to increase taxes further, uh, which are a, a source of deep concern uh, to us. Australia have talked about a mineral resource rent tax to be introduced, uh, but gold so far is excluded from that. That's to be imposed on coal and iron ore. But they have introduced a carbon tax from the middle of 2012 uh, of about $23 per tonne, uh, and that'll have an impact on our business of about $8 million per year. And we'll talk about that a little later when we get to Australasia. And as you've seen, Peru have just legislated a new tax system, uh, which will apply from the last quarter uh, of this year, which could have been a lot worse than initially thought. In fact, uh, overall, it seems to have worked out reasonably well. And if that's sustainable over time, then um, we should be OK. But is this the end of it? Are we going to see other countries following suit? Impossible to say. Input cost pressures. You know, the one thing that I think people have started to realize more and more now is that the gold price doesn't move up by itself. And if we see gold moving up, it's usually accompanied by oil. And you can see over here, oil has moved up a lot. And the long-term relationship of about 15, 16 barrels of oil to an ounce of gold probably still holds true today. Electricity, we've seen some significant increases, not just in South Africa, but in other countries as well. And I think as Paul will demonstrate to you later on, when he talks through some of the financial implications. The cost increases are not confined to South Africa. Cost increases are being seen across the globe and are affecting us in every country uh, we operate in. So thank goodness the gold price has gone up to where it's got to.